Today I'm going to talk about the five free Google resources that every Shopify store owner or a small business owner should definitely know about. Hi, I'm Clarice Lin, the ROI doctor who helps small businesses and online stores get more sales and customers by getting on Google and YouTube page one. Today I'm going to talk about the five free Google resources that's very critical and important for you as a Shopify store owner or if you're just a small business owner should definitely know about. So tool number one, Google Search Console. Google Search Console is formerly known as the Google Webmasters Tools and this is the tool that's going to help you optimize your store's presence or your website's presence on Google. By installing this tool, it's going to help you know how are users, Google users searching on Google, what keywords are they typing into the search engine and how they click on the search results to eventually arrive on your store so this is very important by having that tool it's your communication tool with Google because you can't call up Google and ask them why is your store not found on Google so by installing this tool it allows you to inform Google that you have a store these are the products that you have these are the pages that you have and they should have it on their system so they should be able to show it on search results if it's what the Google users are searching for. This tool is very easy to set up. You just need to sign up, up, set up an account with your Google tool or Google email address. And then after that, you can verify that you own a store domain. You key it in, you verify that you're a store owner, and then you'll be able to get all this data directly from Google onto Search Console. So there'll be reports for you to look at. For more specific details on how to set it up, I have another video right here that you can check it out. So go and check it out how to get your Shopify store on Google Search. So check out that video for step-by-steps on that. I'm not going to go into that in this video. Tool number two, Google Analytics. That's my favorite tool, absolute favorite. If you have an online presence, like an online website, or you have a Shopify store, WooCommerce store, whatever, then you definitely want to install this free tool. There are many other analytics tools as well, but basically what this tool has helping you is to help you to understand how are visitors finding out about your store? How do they arrive about your store? If you are running a campaign or promotion with influencers from Instagram? Is it helping to drive traffic or website visitors to your store? Or if these visitors are coming to your store, which pages are they visiting? Which products are they looking at specifically? Which is the top product that they view? And if they are checking out, if did they drop out during the checkout process? So it allows you to see, get so much insights into it. You can understand your user's behavior and if you are targeting or if you are targeting a specific uh, location for running an ads let's say you're running an ad campaign could be a facebook ad campaign google ad campaign targeting um, customers potentially from the united states or from london you will be able to see if it's effective if these people are coming onto your store through the money that you have spent on this marketing campaigns and you can see whether your money is worthwhile because you'll be able to see what pages or what products are all these visitors looking at. So it helps you to know whether all your marketing budget that you have put into advertising campaign, if it's working properly or if it's what you have planned. So this is very important. So this tool is the number one tool for that. I highly recommend anybody else to install this tool. So what you basically need is you, as usual, you need to go to Google Analytics account setup and then you can, okay, I'm going to show a screenshot right here. This is the page you look at. And then you sign up for an account using a Gmail address, of course. And then you need to generate a little uh, JavaScript code, piece of little code that you can put on your website. You can also use Google Tag Manager if you like to use that as a um, portal, like a central communicator where you can put the code there and then you will inject it to your website. So that's going to start helping you to track, you know, how are visitors coming to your website? What are the pages that they look at? Basically, it tells you how shoppers or browsers are behaving on your store. So you will have a clear idea of what to do next, where to improve, 
and which are the areas that you should spend more time and effort on so you close more sales. So do definitely install this tool if you haven't. Tool number three, Google My Business Tool. Google My Business Tool is if you're a Shopify store owner and you're planning to open a store, a physical store somewhere, then this is the tool just for you. So Google My Business basically allows small business owners to have their presence on Google Maps. If you want to make sure that local customers will be able to find your store, they will be able to know, oh, this is your address and how to get there, what time is your closing hours, opening hours, then this is the tool you need to set up. You need a Gmail address, which basically means like if you sign up for like a Google business account, you can also convert um, your email address into a G Suite address and then you can use it to sign up for a Google My Business account. You put in your address, verify that you have a local presence there. In some cases, they might need you to take a picture of your store presence with your signage, confirm that you're a legit business. Then once that's confirmed, then you can be found on Google Maps. And then if you have uh, local reviews, your local customers putting reviews there, that's going to help to boost your store's presence. So if someone is searching for a specific type of products near me, then that's going to surface your store if you have your account set up on Google My Business. So if you're planning to have a physical presence, then go and check out Google My Business. This is where it is. I'm going to put a screenshot right here on how it looks like. And I'm going to also put the resource on where you can sign up down in the description and pinned comments below. So do check it out. Fourth tool that you need is Google Merchant Center. If you have a Google Merchant Center account, then that's going to help your products get on Google Shopping. Google Shopping is a free feature or free service provided by Google. So shoppers can browse online. Google is planning to compete with Amazon or in the e-commerce market. So they are providing this uh, service now for free. So before that, if you want to get on Google Shopping, you need to run uh, Google Shopping ads, but now you don't have to. You can easily get your products listed there if you have a Google Merchant Center account set up. I have a video here on how you can get the listing set up. So you can check out this video right here. The videos with a uh, step-by-step -step process. So you can check it out, how it works and um, the details. So you can go through that. But basically with Google Merchant Center set up, it basically means your products will be found on Google Shopping for free, not the sponsor ads at the top, the free parts, as well as your images will also be found on image search. Similarly as well on Google search, the main search page itself, your products and if you have any reviews and all the pricing will also show up uh, with all the rich additional information as well. So that's going to help people understand that this is something that they can buy. So you definitely want to set up Google Merchant Center. So last but not least, the fifth tool that I want to highlight is the Google AdWords. You need this Google AdWords tool, even if you are not running, planning to run an ad yet or running any Google Ads at first, you need it because in order for your uh, products to be shown for free on the Google Shopping tab, you need to set up a Google AdWords account so that this information is connected. You're setting up the um, Google ecosystem infrastructure to allow this information flow of your business and your products flow to Google AdWords as well. So you need to set up an account. Um, you can set it up easily you, uh, through this video right here. I have the step-by-step -step process on how you can set up the entire uh, ecosystem to get your Shopify products listed for free on Google Shopping. So you can see it right here. It's the same video that shows you how you can set up your Google Merchant Center account. So do check that out. If you decide or should you decide to run uh, Google Shopping ads, then this is going to be extremely critical. It allows you 
to look at different keywords as well on what are shoppers looking at, browsing at, so you can decide or you have a better idea on how much budget you can put in before running that AdWords. So all this information will of course be connected to your Google Analytics tool number two that I mentioned, my favorite tool, Google Analytics. So all these tools can come together so you'll be able to have a clearer idea. For example, if you want to know the cost per click that you're getting each visitor to your store, how are they converting into conversions? Is it worth it to add on more budget to run for a longer time or to only show it to a specific location? That's going to help you to determine if your Google Shopping advertising campaign is profitable or not. That's all of these free tools that Google has provided for you. That's Google Search Console, Google Analytics, Google My Business, Google Merchant Center, and Google AdWords. Now that you know these are the tools that you need, you can go and check out all my other videos, which I show that. These are critical tools that's going to boost your sales and get more customers. If you're looking for more tips on how to get your, how long does it take to get your first sale on Shopify store, you can check out my video right here. Also, if you're not getting any sales yet, you can check out my video why you're not getting any Shopify sales yet right here so you can check it out. So good luck with growing your Shopify store, get more sales in 2022. If you need more help as well, you can also check out my website on how I can help uh, Shopify store owners get more sales so you can focus on your products and growing your business. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos on how to get your Shopify store to be found on Google and YouTube page one. And this is Clarice Lynn, the ROI Doctor, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.